Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the best way to acid engrave your initials and your logo into metal. So the first thing that you're going to need to do this is a car battery charger. This is the most important piece of equipment that you're going to need and it's probably the one that you're most likely not going to have but without it you can't do this. Next you're going to need just some normal vinegar, any type can do and you're also going to need some salt. So first let me show you how you engrave your initials. First I'm going to be engraving this large machete slash knife thing which I've been making recently and I'm going to engrave the art of weapons along the top here. So first you get your nail varnish, it doesn't have to be pink and then you paint on where you want the engraving writing to be. Make sure that the layer put on is quite thick and that there's no gaps in it. Then leave the nail varnish to properly dry, just takes a few minutes and then put on a layer of black insulation tape over just the bottom of the nail varnish so that none of the vinegar can leak down onto the unprotected steel. Then get an artisan craft knife or something sharp and pointy where you're going to use it for just scratching off and writing in what you want to be engraved into the steel. I find it much much easier if you plan out what you're going to do onto the nail varnish if you draw it out with just a thin felt tip pen and then it's much much more accurate when you scratch it out with the craft knife. So I've just gone and scratched all of the nail varnish off where I want the engraving to be and as you can see it says the art of weapons and it's pretty neat and I'm quite happy with it but what you've got to do is you've got to make sure that you go over it again and again and again with the knife to make sure that it's definitely all the way through the nail varnish and onto the metal and then I also wrapped some more bits of tape around just to make sure that only the vinegar only goes in these bits where I've scratched it in. So now you want to add about a tablespoon of salt into your vinegar so that the entire solution is completely saturated and no more salt can be dissolved and then stir it around with a cotton bud. Then you want to get your car battery charger and turn it on and make sure that you don't short out the two connectors. Then you need to turn it on to its highest charging speed because that will work with your etching quickest. Then connect the red clip right on the very edge of your knife so that it's touching the metal fine but it's not going to be close enough to the etching so that you're going to short out the black clip on it. Then you get your cotton bud that's soaked in the vinegar and then clip the black clip onto the vinegar part where there's lots of vinegar on it so that then there's a good connection between the vinegar and the cotton bud and the black clip. Then all that you need to do is get your black clip like this and then just tap the end of the cotton bud over where you want the etching to be and then slowly go over each bit. You're only going to need to spend about five or six seconds on each part before you move on and make sure that you don't get any acid on bare steel that you don't want to be engraved and you'll know that the acid's working because it will bubble quite a lot when it's being used. So I'm done now and that only took about three minutes to go over each of these bits quite a lot and that was quite a big etch so now I'm just going to come and wash off all of this black kind of gunk that has built up from the cotton bud and now I'm just going to pull off the tape. Once you've done that then you want to get some nail varnish remover and just wipe off the nail varnish. There you go, here's the finished product and now I've completely finished engraving my name or my initials or whatever you want to call it into the steel and it's in there really deep and I can feel it with my thumbnail and that's not going to be coming out anytime soon. So now I'm going to show you how to etch logos or symbols into the steel. So first just tape on a piece of insulation tape where you want your logo or symbol to be. If your logo is going to be bigger than a single piece of insulation tape, you can stick down two overlapping, but make sure you push them down really, really hard so that there's no gaps in it for the vinegar to break through. Now you simply cut out of the insulation tape the logo which you want to engrave into the knife using the craft knife. So once you've cut it out, then pull it off with the craft knife so that then there's a gap in the insulation tape. As you can see, I'm just going to be engraving a simple rectangle. Now, just like before, tape up the area around where the engraving is going to be, just so that none of the acid can leak. Now engrave it in the exact same way, but because it's such a small thing that you're, I'm going to be engraving now, I won't have to spend very long on it. So after about 30 seconds of holding the acid on, it's done. Now I'm just going to wash it off and remove the tape. 
As far as I'm aware, you can do this on any metals, and I know that it works on stainless steel and aluminium. So here's the entirely finished etching that I've done on the machete. Thanks for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos coming from me. Also, if you have any recommendations for what you'd like me to make in a future project, please just leave a comment down below or send me a personal message.